So, you're like me, you uh, you love doing carnival, but you just don't have frontline money. So you go with the backline costume that doesn't come with the collar. It's really easy to make your own simple collar. This collar right here cost me about $15 in materials. And it's super, super simple. So that's the front of it. And that's the back of it. And I make all of my collars with a wire so that I can fold it in half and put it in my suitcase. This fits very easily in a carry-on luggage. Because if you don't know, if you're going to a carnival outside the United States, some of the countries do not allow you to import feathers. So if you're making a collar to take to, I don't know, Trinidad, Jamaica, I'm not sure about Barbados, but I know Trinidad and Jamaica, definitely. They're not going to let you go through customs with feathers in your hand. So, you can discreetly hide this in your suitcase and they will be none the wiser. But don't tell them I said that, right? Don't have them coming for me. <laughs> Alright, so all of the collars start off with a multi-purpose wire that I got from Home Depot. You can get from your whatever home goods store. But the important thing on this is the gauge. The gauge being the thickness. This is a 12 gauge wire and why that's important is because that is what's going to allow you to bend it. If you have a wire that is too thin it might break off when you bend it and if you have a wire that's too thick you might not be able to bend it at all. So this collar is going to have a wire that is about 25 inches long. So what I'm going to do is cut it and then frame it. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of rounding out the ends of these so that I can add my string to tie it around my back. Ta-da! Doesn't have to be perfect. No one's really going to see it. So, probably going to straighten this out just a little bit. Ta-da! We have the base for our collar. Next, we're adding, I guess maybe you could call them some Spock ears. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to have invented the wheel. This frame is an exact bootleg replica of the collar that I had in Jamaica Carnival 2018. The collar is going to look completely different because I used much shorter feathers than I had in Jamaica. But the frame is almost identical. So these Spock ears just obviously came from a Amazon Prime order. Let's see about how long they are. Uh, inches. Alright. So we have about five and a half on this side. About seven here. Three at the bottom. Three at the top. So we're just going to glue these to the frame <clears throat> and that gives us somewhere to attach our feathers. So I've got my handy dandy glue gun. I don't know where my big glue gun is so now I gotta use this little silly silly gun that's gonna take me all day. I don't like burning my fingertips so I just attach clothes line clothes pins to the frame and the cardboard and then glue around them. The days of burning my fingertips are over. And then after the glue is dry, then we can reshape it. 
So this project is so cheap because I'm really just using leftover materials from other projects. The wire probably cost I think maybe like five dollars for the entire bundle and that'll that'll make uh, probably at least ten colors. I'm going to upholster this wire with some scrap fabric and I really this is way too much I just cut one long strip that I'm going to wrap around but as you can see it's really thin right here so what I'm going to do is take some scraps of felt from another project and take the felt and glue it and wrap it around it's going to take a couple pieces of felt to give it some thickness The frame is upholstered. I made two collars, one for myself and one for a friend. And on the first one, I upholstered this cardboard, but then I realized later that I really didn't need to because, as you can see, you can't see it at all. And then I have feathers on the back, so you can't see it on the back. So maybe you just want to upholster the outer portion or interior of the collar even though you can't really see that either but it's your collar is your choice live your life so what you're going to do now is put the ribbon that ties behind your back and I have this satin stretch ribbon that makes it so much more comfortable than using just a regular non stretch ribbon so you're going to want to cut probably about anywhere between 18 to 20 inches on both sides and time in a little knot right here and voila so with this fabric remnants that we have are going to deceive the eye. We're not going to waste our time upholstering the whole cardboard because it's going to be covered with feathers. You're not going to be able to see it. So what we're going to do is just upholster the interior part that's around your neck so that it does look like the entire thing is upholstered, but it's really not. Save time and money. And time is money. So for the most important thing on your collar, the feathers. These right here are goose feathers. They're six to eight inch goose feathers as you can see. Some are short, some are long, and it's on a one yard trim. Well, this is not a one yard trim, but I purchased it on one yard trim. I get my feathers from eBay. So what I do is I just search blue goose feathers and then I sort by price. And this was, like I said, this was $3 a yard. But the thing about eBay is that a lot of vendors are not located in the United States. They're located in Asia. So you're going to have to allot yourself about a month for shipping. So if Carnival is two weeks away, then I guess you're going to have to mosey on over to Amazon Prime and pay about $20 a yard. So that's what makes the collar so cheap is that I get the feathers from Asia for $3 a yard. So like I said, this right here is one-fourth of a yard. And what I do is I just spread it on here like a sole and just cut off this extra trim. Actually, I, <coughs> I have one that I actually, for the other side that I already had cut this fourth. So we're going to glue the feathers like so and then we're going to take the, the excess and fill in the gaps. 
and then we're going to do the same thing in the center with whatever other color you're using. In my case, I'm doing pink and blue. So I'm going to fill in the center with pink feathers on both sides. So let me go ahead and glue that in very quickly. I forgot to mention one very important thing. When you get feathers on a trim, they're actually facing a certain way. I don't know if you can see when I lay it down, they're facing up. And if I turn it the other way, they're facing down. So you want to look at which way has the feathers facing up, and you want to point that towards you, not your back. Because when you have the collar on, your, your feathers will be pointing behind you. So if you have them facing forward, it'll give it a fuller look. So that's something, a uh, side note that you should keep in mind before you glue your feathers. So let's go ahead and glue this other side. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing in the center with my second color, which is in my case pink. And then I'm going to, just to fill in the gap, because I'm still going to have a little gap in the center, I'm going to use this little white feather trim I have and put that in the center. And then maybe add some bling and our collar will be done. So we filled in the front with pink and then the white and we added some some bling in the center. And I all the way lied to you when I said that we would be done after we did that because I forgot about the back. Remember we weren't going to upholster that cardboard because we were adding feathers in the back. So I just took another trim of feathers and then just put some bling in the back and there you have it. A very, 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 very cheap and affordable collar that you can fold up and take with you to whatever carnival.